right, I want to talk to you about Linux Smart Hub technology here. Uh, this is the Smart Hub for the Linux iComfort S30. It's got a little antenna here. Uh, you can see it. And what this does is your control comes from your thermostat into this box. And then this box does some pulsing. It only uses four wires. Uh, the two middle are the pulses, plus and minus. They go down to your control board on your furnace. Um, and then can, can, can give you like more control over the speed of your blower and I guess other features mine failed uh, On this furnace. I have two furnaces. This is Texas Really, it's because you got two air conditioning units mine failed and I was told fifteen hundred dollars to replace it I was told there's no possible way to modify so you can use a regular thermostat did some research online and definitely uh, did figure out how to modify for a standard um, thermostat control so I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly here I'm not a professional at this in any way I'm just a homeowner um, who has some DIY experience and I will show you what we did so the first thing is turn off your furnace right here that's going to cut all the power so you don't end up uh, causing any electrical problems take off your your cover to your furnace use a you know usually you got to have one of these kind of little Attachments. I mean, you could use a socket, I guess. Uh, take off the screws on your cover here in your furnace. Get your cover off. And then what you'll see is the furnace control board. And what you're going to see at first is all your, your two wires. One's coming from your thermostat. One's going out to your air conditioning if you have air conditioning. If you don't, you're only going to have one wire coming from your thermostat that's well then you don't have a smart hub controller probably either uh, your wires are all going to be connected up here so you've got your outdoor and you can see r and c so your r is your power 24 volt and your c is your called your common and then you have plus and minus i plus i minus that you're just going to take it out and then you've got your indoor equipment you're going to take that out um, and then you'll have two wires you know coming down that are not connected to anything what you're going to do then is you're going to take your thermostat wire that's this one for me and you're just going to follow the colors your mind your might look a little different but white to white see white to w1 g is green goes to g yellow goes to y here i'll get this one out of the way blue is my common blue goes to c that's the only one that's not color coded but yellow goes to y right there and red goes to r Okay, those are your wires that are going to your thermostat. Let's go down and I'll show you and then I'll come back here and show you the air conditioning. So the thermostat, mine is kind of nice, it's right at the bottom of the stairs here. And I haven't secured it to the wall because I wanted to show you this. Your thermostat wires are going to come out and they're the same colors, unless you have a weird old system. Uh, you do need the red wire on this system. Uh, sorry, let me see if I can... Well, let me see if I can pop this off. You do need the red wire, because, the red wire because um, at least I do because this thermostat has uh, doesn't have a battery. If you do, if you don't have a battery, if you, if, if you have batteries, you might not need this red wire. Okay, so same thing. Blue is C, right? So blue goes to common. R goes to red. Now, this is a little bit tricky, but don't get too confused. R, C, and R. Uh, there's I don't I don't I you know honestly I don't know the difference somebody can explain it better they're jumped right now that's what this means they're connected see how it says R C and R down here this is a jumper meaning if I connect to R I'm also connecting to R C and that's where that works in this application W for white Y for yellow G for green right like super basic uh, I got two extra colors here black and orange I'm not using them I'm just gonna tuck them back into the wall they're not they're not connected to anything so they're not they're not running power they're not dangerous nothing just leave them where they are let me reconnect my thermostat here again apologies for the video i'm trying to do this to be helpful i don't make money doing this i'm not trying to do this to impress you i'm literally trying to save you money so if you don't like this video just find a different one uh, i couldn't find a single one so i'm doing this for you okay now the second set of wires going out to your air conditioning if you have air conditioning mine goes up and across my attic and out the far wall down to my AC unit this one slightly different okay this one we're gonna run the blue common oops sorry about the video the blue common 
and oh my gosh my wire just broke off i guess i'm gonna have to rewire this so it's the blue common and the red r oh man sorry for that video blue common red r which i'm gonna have to strip that wire back and reconnect it because it just broke and black for my for my yellow i know that sounds weird i should use yellow and i did use yellow and i ran it out there but my yellow power was going in on this side and not coming out the other side so something was wrong with this wire as it goes out of my house you don't have to use yellow for Y as long as you use the same color here as what you use out of the air conditioning it will send the signal properly okay so air conditioning blue for common red for R that's your 24 volt power controls your air conditioning board some air conditioning units don't need this one but you have to have the blue and either you know yellow which like I said, I'm using black. Okay, now I'm gonna show you their conditioning and then you can go fix your own and not have to use the iComfort S30 Smart Hub, which again, like I know it's a better uh, or whatever, you know, more advanced. Let's see, I know it's more advanced, uh, gives you more control, more efficient, all these things, it fails and our tech said he's replacing them all over the place and upgrading to the you know the the s i comfort s40 which i'm sure is going to fail so i just did modified mine you open up the control you know there's a panel on the outside of your compressor you open that up it's it's it looks crazy don't be scared by this there's a lot going on here be careful there's high power coming in this is 240 volts down here Let's see if you can see my finger don't touch anything please be careful do this at your own risk right here coming in from your this this little squiggly wire comes in and these are the same wires coming out of my attic so i connected black to y remember because i'm using black for my yellow because my yellow failed i'm using c for common that's my blue and red for r and that's it you connect those three wires um, and then go back, you know, put your panel back on, go back up to your furnace and turn on, turn on that light switch for the power to the furnace and everything will work like it would with any regular, uh, thermostat. You do not need the smart hub. You do not need the Linux eye comfort, uh, uh, smart hub that costs $1,500 and is discontinued. All right. Let me know if you got questions.